In Greek mythology, there's always an element of action reactions. You do something and it has an effect which then brings something back upon you. It's not about morality, it's more about the consequences of things. We all have experienced these moments in our lives where something was very unfair and you somehow have to deal with it. It affects you for the rest of your life. This ballet is really about abuse of power. Medusa, she's a priestess for Athena and she's very faithful to her. She's part of the temple. Poseidon, another god, uh, the god of the sea, fancies Medusa and wants to force himself upon her and actually does that. It suddenly disconnects her from the reality of being a virgin. Athena can't punish the other god because gods don't punish one another. So she has to punish the human being who actually had, had no blame whatsoever. She was the victim, which is very recognizable <laughs> with the way the world works today. <laughs> Athena makes Medusa a monster. But you could also turn this into a, an act of empowerment because Medusa now being a monster, she literally has so much power. And with that power, she punishes everyone who's not been there for her the moment she needed it. And then comes Perseus, this one man that somehow manages to kill Medusa. And I wanted to give a personal interpretation in which I felt like maybe Medusa lets him. Maybe she actually feels tired of being the monster. I felt like I had to create connections that maybe aren't really part of the original myth. So I made my own story out of it. Better. When I was young, I was always like in my head with everything. Don't be late. And I was quite a weak child. I had a lot of issues with health. I've always been very sensitive about things, so the dancing helped me to, to find a, a form of expression. I started really late with ballet, and then I went to contemporary dance when I was 19. <laughs> Don't worry, but it, I know you were I know it, it's like a concentration on many levels. Um, I had influences from many, many different styles, and I didn't want to have to choose. Think the part of that's like inside your hand. It very quickly became apparent that I wanted to choreograph. Yeah. So let's try it on the music. This is the first time actually uh, for me to work with uh, Royal Ballet. Rehearsals have been going really well. It's always stressful because there's always a deadline. If it was up to me, I would just keep working <laughs> forever. <laughs> but I know at some point I have to let it become itself. There's a real courage and a sense of fearlessness in the company and, and huge talent. Natalia Osipova is someone with whom I've worked a couple of times. I adore watching her dance and move and be and She's very receptive and intelligent. For Natalia, I was thinking that you give this to him. I always look for bodies that are able to multitask, that can do many things at the same time. It's really nice when people are willing to give themselves to the art of dance and are there to embody something else, something bigger than them. I love perspective in movement. When you are able to have your focus somewhere else than what's actually happening, because I think that's what's so exciting about real life. Hopefully when people see the ballet, there's a realization of how important it is to take responsibility for your actions. Every choice you make has repercussions that would be the most beautiful lesson to take home.